today we're going to show you how the Geiger family comes together to make sorghum molasses each November. So this is the vat that everything cooks down into. The first part of the process is actually in the field. We grow the sorghum and we go into the field and we strip all of the leaves and then we cut it down and put it on this trailer. We come down to the bottom and you can see we have a lot of people stripping off all the leaves and debris, making sure that it's as clean as the cane can be to go into the press. The cane then goes from this trailer over to this antique sorghum press. This press was built in about 1870 and as you can see it's horse strong. Jack feeds the sorghum into the press. Get it done down here and get knocked out. Oh, you can see it coming out right here. This is the sorghum sap that's been pressed out of the cane. The debris goes over onto the trailer and becomes a little bit of silage for our cows. Once these buckets are full, we take them over to be strained. And it's pretty interesting. The sorghum is, you know, green, as you can see when it comes out. So it gets strained through here. Then put into yet another bucket and hold Jen, over to the vat over the fire. Now, to make sorghum molasses, it's about a 12 to one reduction. So we'll end up with approximately 60 gallons of sorghum sap and it'll reduce down to about five or six gallons of actual sorghum. And when the sorghum is done, it'll be a beautiful, golden kind of amber color it starts out green all of this uh, foam will be skimmed off as we cook it throughout the day and night probably take about eight to ten hours 